What's up guys, back with another twin motion tutorial. I'm gonna show you quickly how to create a close up rendering in twin motion. Let's get right into the video. So we already have the scene set up. As you can see, I got it called render four. Um, when you click on it, you guys know you create an image and we're all set. So now let's go to environment tab and we're gonna look at some of the settings that we have here. So right now I have the time of day at 11.30 and we have our sun intensity. So the type of effect that I'm looking for is to give it a more of a blue tint kind of effect. And um, it's a little different, but you know, sometimes a good visual requires some creativity. All right. so. Sun intensity is at um, the standard 100,000. We're gonna crank that down to 25. Our sun size is at 0 0.92. We're gonna crank that down to 0 0.50. We'll leave our sun reflection the same. Moon intensity is fine. We have our stars intensity at one, that's fine. Um, ambient, we're going to boost that up instead of one, we'll do, we'll boost it up to two. Okay. Guys, if you're liking this video so far, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. All right. So right now we're at location. So we we have under sun north offset. We're going to do instead of 60 degrees to 11 degrees. You see how that 11 degrees brought some of that sunlight inside the scene. All right, so we'll keep it in August because we're in August. All right, so for our HDRI environment, we're, we are not going to enable this, okay? So we're going to leave everything else the same. So now we're going to go to our camera and let's start looking at some of our camera settings. So right now our exposure is at one. We're gonna change that to 2.75. Then we have a white balance of 6,800. Make that 4,500. Okay, so looking at our local exposure, we're gonna keep that enabled. And we're gonna, I think the highlight reduction at 0 0.93 and shadow boost at 0 0.99 is fun. So right now we have our focal lens. We can adjust that. Now we're gonna play around with our vignetting and details. So right now we got 50% in our standard. So let's do 25% sharpness at 15. Our chromatic abrasion. So right now that says 0%. Let's do it 1%. We're going to use parallelism. Okay. We are going to use the depth of field. So we're going to enable that. Right now is at 4.7. Our parts is at 3. Okay, that's fine. So we can pick our focus. So once you pick your focus, we're going to focus here where the book is. Okay. So I clicked and now we have film back. So I use film back in this rendering scene. I enabled it and I used the digital film and that's the one that I want to keep so far. Okay. So now we're and stick around cause we're going to do a path tracer with this one. Um, so now let's go to FX and let's kind of play around with this. So the contrast is at 50%. I'm going to change the contrast maybe to say 65%. And then our saturation is at 50%, 55%. I'm going to add a color gradient to this scene as well. So as you know, uh, Twinmotion has several different options. Um, really cool options if you're looking to um, make some cool renderings. Um, I'm going to use blue tint for this one and we're not going to put a filter on this one. 
okay so now guys if you're liking this video don't forget to smash this like button for me and subscribe as well all right so now we're gonna do our path tracer let me check one more thing let's go to image so right now our width is at 1920 right we want that to be on tiled rendering all right so right now we've got real time we go to path tracer so as you can see the results are pretty good but it's at a low quality so we're gonna boost up that quality um, to high we're gonna actually do 2040 and the max bounce we're gonna do 25 and we're gonna do zero fireflies we're gonna leave the missing materials checked and denoiser checked as well all right so let's go back to our camera just kind of checking our settings go back to image Okay, so we're fine. We're going back to camera. I'm going to use the digital film. All right, so now the path tracer is doing its thing. And guys, don't forget you can download this 3D scene on my website at renderreboot.com. Uh, if you're interested in learning uh, architectural rendering and you want to kind of play around with the model, um, use some of the settings that i have that's pre-saved into the twin motion model um don't be afraid to go check out this model it's pretty detailed and um has a lot of a lot of good things a lot of good qualities that are are in this scene so don't forget to check that out and right now we're still waiting on a path tracer and um we're at 2040 samples per pixel so it's going to take a little bit depending on your computer as well but i wanted to make this a, a fairly quick tutorial so guys don't forget to hit that like button and uh, we'll be back with another one